hi guys uh, in this video i will show you how to use ion input and how can we uh, use that to get different inputs from user in your ionic phi app so if you see here i just have a, a basic uh, template with a simple text hi there and i am just uh, running with the capacitor currently so ion ionic 5 actually has a ion element which we can uh, use uh, if you just uh, put it as an ion element uh, it will be displayed as a simple thing as you can see if you if i click here something is coming up but i can't actually see what, what it is and where it is okay so what I will do is I will encapsulate that into an item so that it will has a better visibility okay let me just uh, put it there if I save it again the app will reload now we can see this is better display better displayed okay then uh, we need to add bit label to what we are actually getting input so let me add another label uh, just put it as a hero so for example you are just uh, asking user to enter hero name ok so uh, that's it once you do that uh, then uh, you can you can customize this label to a specific position okay uh, let's say you can put it as a posi position equal to fix if it reload actually you can see the position is fixed and there is bit uh, gap from name to the value you are actually entering next one is float if you see here whenever you click uh, you can see the label is going up another one is tag so instead of going up we just uh, the label will be on top of the input segment okay once you do that uh, the next thing will be to get the data whatever user input let's see if i type something here we need to know what he we need to we need to get the data what users enters and you know do some stuff on the background so i'll just put it as a float then initially what i will do is i will assign a ng model to it let me add it as input value let me just define it as input value okay and then go to the typescript page then define input value i'll just define it as a string okay then i'll just uh, dis display whatever user added here okay let me this is data binding right so let me put the input value okay once we do that uh, should be floating okay once I did that if I enter something you can see it is displaying there let me just uh, put it here so we can have a better visibility this is input value okay this is what he entered in uh, input actually uh, there are different types uh, you can just restrict the user to type only numbers you can see only numbers are displaying here okay 
the keyboard restricts you to enter only numbers or you can also use password so in that case whatever you type it will be like displayed as a dots right so one other thing I know noticed actually uh, which might be quite handy if you are working with uh, time input or something uh, there are some specific types actually let's say if you use date actually directly allow to enter date which is really good I guess and you can see the date is formed as a year month followed by date which you can easily parse it right so if you want uh, date and time uh, you can use date time local then uh, it, it will let you choose the date and time you know with this uh, good interface I guess and uh, you can see the format also it is pretty much easy to parse and everything okay uh, because uh, you can just uh, split with the T and on the first one will be the date and second one will be the index uh, time actually okay once uh, we did that actually uh, then uh, there are few more attributes to it uh, where you can see you can disable the input so that is disabled so you can't actually you know interact with it and or you can make it as read only this is you know you can interact with you, you can see the level is going up uh, but uh, you can't enter anything I'm not sure what's the use of this anyone but it is there And one, uh, one more uh, useful thing maybe you can look into is placeholder, right? So let's see. Enter your hero name. Just a bit long placeholder, placeholder, but yeah. But uh, I guess it works, right? Okay, maybe. for some reason is it H okay that's not displaying properly I'll just check uh, here what is the placeholder blah 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 placeholder equal to enter input which is okay uh, the reason is uh, I'm using a type date so let me see if I use uh, type text which is the default one I guess you can see whenever you click here it is getting enter your hero name Uh, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching. In the next video, I'll show you how to parse those time inputs so we can actually use it for something. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.